Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I've got a really nice project for you to do out of panel fabric. On this piece of panel fabric, which is one third yard, there are 16 squares and they all have little different sayings or little different pictures on it. Now you could get this and make a great big quilt out of it if you wanted to, or a table runner, placemats, really just about anything you want. But if you're a beginner, I'm gonna show you some simple things you can make out of just one third yard of panel fabric. So I'm gonna show you how to make a drink coaster, a pot holder, and a mug rug. So let's get started. If you are interested in getting this piece of panel fabric, it's called Be Inspired by Deb Strain. Find the joy in simple things. Go online and look for it there, just entering the information that I gave you. You'll find that panel fabric is not always printed straight on the fabric. So sometimes you kind of have to fuss with it just a little bit to get it cut out. But what I did was I went out about a quarter of an inch outside of all of the edges and that's how I cut it out. After you've cut it out, then place it on top of some cotton batting and then cut around it to get an exact fit of your square. Then cut a square that's a little bit larger than your uh, top square. So it's going to be anywhere from three quarters of an inch to an inch bigger on all four edges. Then center it on the back side. So here's my front side of the fabric. Lay it down, place this on top. Then you want to do some quilting stitches and that's going to hold it all together. So I recommend you just stitch across this way and this way. You can either do a straight stitch going across or a serpentine stitch, which is a wavy line. And most computerized sewing machines have that wavy line on there. Now take the raw edge and fold it in towards the edge of the top fabric and press it with your iron. Fold it again and press. Then go to the opposite side and do the same thing. And then you're going to stitch starting way out here on the raw edge, close to this folded edge, all the way across, and then do the same thing over here. Repeat that same step for your other two edges. Fold it in twice and press, and this side too, and then stitch it down. Now here is the one I just made, and if you'll notice I've got different fabrics on these two. I decided to select colors from the fabric panel itself and make each coaster out of different fabric. So if I was going to make another one, I would use this black polka dot. So they're kind of similar, but just a little different. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a really easy pot holder. Cut a strip of fabric that's about two and a half inches wide and you're going to put it on top and stitch it down using a quarter inch seam and then press and then unfold it and press again and then when you're done trim your edges straight just put a ruler right there and trim it off with your rotary cutter then take another strip that's also two and a half inches wide bring it on top and Line it up with your edges. Remember, this has already been cut off right there. And then stitch a one quarter inch seam, then press it, unfold, and press on top. So I've just finished pressing it. Remember, press on the back, unfold, press on top. Then cut your two edges here, even with this edge right there. Then place it on top of cotton batting. And I have two layers of cotton batting. And then with a rotary cutter and ruler, go ahead and trim your cotton batting to be an exact fit. Now cut a piece of fabric that's 3 quarters of an inch or 1 inch larger than your top piece. In other words, you want that 3 quarters of an inch or 1 inch 
out past the edges up here. And then you're going to place your cotton batting and your top piece centered on the inside of that. Now make sure the back side of your fabric, your front side I should say, is facing down. Then do quilting stitches. And this time I did five lines. I did one going from corner to corner and then I did two more on each side going out a little farther each time. And then I did two more going out that way. Then I turned it and did some going the opposite way. So there's this little zigzag kind of crisscross looking pattern. Then you want to go ahead and finish your edges off just like you did on the coaster. Fold your edges in and press, fold again and press, and then stitch along that folded edge on two opposite sides. After you finish stitching down these two sides, then go to your other two edges, repeat the process, fold your edges over twice, stitch it down, doing it on opposite sides. So now I've completed just two things and they both are very quick. This one was much less than 10 minutes and this was probably 10 minutes. Now let's move on to a mug rug. For this mug rug, you're going to cut a piece that's about three inches wide this way and cut it a little bit longer than the width of your square. You're going to do it similar to the pot holder. Go ahead and stitch it down using a one quarter inch seam. Then press it on the back side and then unfold and press it on top. Then place your ruler along the edge of this square here and trim this fabric straight down to be an exact fit on both sides. Cut three strips of fabric that are different fabrics. You don't want them all the same. They're two inches wide by roughly nine inches long. Stitch all three together by using a one quarter inch seam. After you've got them all stitched together, then you want to press your seams on the back side. Then open it all up to the front and I like pressing all my seams in one direction. So I want them just to go that way. So I'm going to push against this seam pressing across like that. Now don't stretch your fabric. So when you're done you'll see that they're all going in the same direction. Now take your other piece and center this along here. It doesn't matter if it's longer because we're going to cut it off. So now bring this on top and stitch this together doing a one inch or excuse me a one quarter inch seam. Press your seam on the back side and unfold and press on top. Then take your ruler place it along this edge and trim this to be an exact fit on both edges. So this is what it looks like after stitching all of your top pieces together. Then cut a piece of cotton, cotton batting out that is the same size as your top piece here. Then cut fabric for the back that's three quarters of an inch to one inch, a bigger on all four sides. Then do your quilting stitches. Remember you can either do a straight stitch or a serpentine. I'm again going to go on a diagonal design but you can go straight up and down or side to side. I've just finished all my quilting stitches. Now you're going to bind the edges just like you did on the other two projects. Fold your edges in twice pressing it each time you fold and then stitch across that edge and then on the opposite edge also. After you've completed two opposite edges, then go ahead and finish off the other two edges by folding it in, folding it over, making sure you're pressing each time, and then stitch the two edges down. So out of those 16 squares, I've already made five items. I've made two pot holders, a mug rug, and two drink coasters. So look at all of the fun things that you can make out of this. And by the way, put this uh, on your gift idea list for Christmas time, birthdays, wedding presents, any type of celebration. It's really fun and really quick and very economical. And don't forget to go through your scrap pile to look for coordinating pieces of fabric. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. And down below, I'll have the link to where you can find this panel fabric, and then you'll also see links to other beginner sewing projects. So glad you came by. I'll see you next time, and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.